nature is so beautiful. Every time I breathe in the fresh air in the morning, I let the warm evening sun soak in my skin. It fills me with so much joy. I love being outdoors, close to trees, flowers, and animals too. In my home, we have a small garden where we grow tomatoes and strawberries. Every day, I help my mom and dad water the plants and take care of them. I can't wait until the fruits are ripe and huge. I pick them in my special basket and share them with my family. Besides spending time outside in my backyard, what I really enjoy is playing and exercising outdoors. Biking, hiking, roller skating, and zip lining. All these fun activities make being outdoors so much more fun. I started to love being outdoors when my uncle taught me how to roller skate. In the beginning, I was so afraid of falling down and getting hurt. The wheels were going so fast, and I didn't know how to stop. But my uncle held my hand and pushed me slowly. I felt safe because he was holding on to me so I wouldn't fall. He said, it's okay, Jenna. Keep going. You're great at this. I felt his warm hand on my hand every time. But suddenly, when I looked back, he wasn't holding on to me anymore. He was in the grassy area where we started. I was so surprised. I rolled all over here, all by myself. I'm still not as good and low slow, but I am getting better and better. I see a lot of people roller skating, going on their tiptoes and even jumping on them. It looks like they have a lot of practice. I would love to try that one day when I'm better at it. So if you want to spend more time outdoors, the first thing you can do is to try something new. I never saw I could roller skate before, but then my uncle taught me how, and I loved it. I love to feel the wind on my face when I go really fast. Sure, you'll fail in the beginning, like how I also fell down so many times. But the important thing is to try, because if you don't try, you'll never know. The other thing I like to do outdoors is to hike. We have many mountains out in Vancouver where I live, and Gross Mountain is one of them. One day, I was hiking out with my best friend, Hannah, and our families, of course. There were a lot of people that day. There were men and women, grandfathers and grandmothers, and lots of kids, too. We passed some of the slower ones and got passed by the faster climbers. Hannah and I climbed together, huffing and puffing, breathing in and out, step by step on the way to the top. There were signs on the, on the trees telling us how far we had climbed, but it seemed like it was taking forever. <laughs> I knew I was driving my mom and dad bananas, when I kept on asking them, are we there yet? Are we there yet? Because it was taking so long. And once it started climbing, you can't stop and go back because there's only one way, going up. So we were all going to climb no matter how long it took, no matter how high they got. Finally, after never ending time, we were finally at the top. My legs are so sore, and my feet hurt a lot. But I suddenly forgot all that. I turned around and down at the beautiful view of Vancouver. It was so pretty. I could see the huge green sun park. I could see English Bay. I could even see my home and Hannah's home. We spent a few more minutes looking around for places and buildings we knew. 
Then came the fun part, which is going to the coffee shop and getting chocolate milk, orange juice, pizza, and fries. As you can imagine, I was so hungry. We had water dr to drink along the way, but after that long time climb, I felt like I hadn't eaten for days. The pizza sure was yummy. I really forgot how tired I was, which is a good thing because next we were off to the play area, which is always my favorite part of Ghost Mountain. The mountain rope's adventure is so exciting. We get to climb on tall trees and walk to the sea tops. It's a bit scary, but a lot of fun. Hike up Grouse Mountain was not easy. It takes a long time, and it's really a hard and time climb, especially for a six-year-old like me. When I felt tired, Harris Prince reminded me about what's on top. It's a delicious pizza and an exciting play area. And I keep on going. So, if you feel tired and want to quit, stop, have a drink, and take a break. But never give up. Be patient and keep going because it's so much better when you finish. Roller skating is fun, but I like my uncle, mom, or dad to help me. Hiking is fun, but it's quite far, and I can't really drive myself there yet. So, the only thing I can do all by myself now, which I really, really love, is to play on the monkey bars. Every time we have visits in school, I rush to the monkey bars in the playground. I always want to be the first one there. I reach up really high and grab the bars, swing side to side really fast. And because I'm much stronger now, I can stay up much longer. Uh-oh, now there's a line behind me. Everyone wants to play too. So we all take turns. I'm sure you can find something you love to do and do it often. Even if it's just taking a walk. The important thing is to try to do it every day. So you make it a habit. Spending some time outside, even for a little while, is so refreshing. There are many other activities which are a lot of fun, like hiking, skiing, and playing on the monkey bars. Now that's a lot of fun. I hope you can find something you love and do it often. My mom says that playing outside is very important for kids to grow. When we are outside, we see, hear, and smell many more things. We become stronger when we move our body, arms, and legs. And we can learn and appreciate other living things in nature. There is a beautiful world outside our doors. There are ocean waves and rainfalls for you to hear. There are huge mountains and forests for you to see. And there are beautiful flowers and green leaves for you to to feel. So let's spend my time outdoors and enjoy the beauty of nature.